welcome to the part 68 now if you are wondering where is or where are parts 66 and 67 they are exclusively for cloud kernel members so click the join button below this video or click the link in the description and gain access to those contents if you have not yet subscribed please do so loads of people have leveraged these contents and they have understood the concept and cleared certifications if you are just looking to mark the question and answers uh, then this is not the channel for you because uh, we strongly recommend not to do that uh, people who do that on the cv they have cleared certifications but they are totally important when we put them to projects or work so you will struggle when you have been put to work so don't do that that is uh, that is not a good thing to happen in your career let us look at this question now so a company is migrating to aws cloud nothing new you know the certification always tests always says that you are migrating to aws cloud because aws wants you to do that now when they go there they want a support plan and which support plan do they want they are telling you uh, boss please tell me which support plan i should take uh, so then you ask hey uh, what is your key ask then they say you know what we want a response within 30 minutes uh, if business critical systems goes down then you understand okay they are trying to put business critical applications here so which support plan should i put so there are only four there is nothing called basic support uh, so d is totally wrong now let us see common sense if you don't know anything about the plan common sense anything to do with business critical will be expensive will be expensive it will come only with enterprise support and enterprise on ram support these two are expensive so anything with the name enterprise is for business critical developer support business support they are relatively cheaper ones not for business critical systems so these two would be my final answers see this is the next question and what is it asking is they want to know which service will help with checking access policies what are access policies access policies are like who can access certain things and so on so you can manage access by creating policies and then you attach them to identities which are basically users groups roles or resources see guard duty you know it is a security solution in here we are not talking about any intelligent threat detection solution we are not talking about that and hence guard duty is wrong now trusted advisor is also wrong why because see it is kind of a consultant it gives you a point of view on various things from security to cost optimization it's like you know what you deploy certain applications on cloud an aws cloud and then you can go to trusted advisor and ask hey you know what how should i optimize my cost it will give you those guidance here we are not talking about optimizing cost or optimizing performance or we are not saying hey can you give me solutions or tips how to make this environment secured so you have you know religious gurus who usually claim to have knowledge of n number of things trusted advisor is just that kind of guy in the aws space See, then you have systems manager so you can manage your resources on aws and in multi-cloud or hybrid cloud environments so it is used to manage resources it will give you more control so it's like you know if you have one kid or two kid you can manage it you manage them okay if you have like uh 
15 kids then you need some system to manage it right that that system is system manager okay if you have too many resources hundreds of resources imagine amazon.com to run that application they might be having so many resources so they can manage it using systems manager so here nobody is talking about you know managing so many resources nobody is talking of that so then we are left with access analyzer um, only one thing we have so access analyzer this helps identify resources in your organization it helps validate im policies this is what you want in the question and it also helps to generate im policies so the question is saying the same you want to check the access policies so this is what uh, access analyzer is doing so this serves the purpose now let us look at this next question see here in this question no, this is the next one you need to install an application in a docker container and you want to know which service eliminates the need to provision and manage container hosts see this is a service very useful it is serverless so you don't have to worry about provisioning and so on forget now some people say hey why not ecs see ecs uses forget for serverless compute ecs itself does not provide that you have to use forget for that so ecs is wrong in this context ec2 is wrong ec2 is a totally different thing for dockers we don't use ec2 and we never save it in a file system simple thing we never store it in a file system object store nothing you have forget for that forget is like you know you you have ec2 you know and then you have lambda ec2 is uh, you have to manage server lambda it is serverless similarly here you have ecs then you have forget you want serverless go for forget here uh, this is the next one we are talking about which service uses edge locations see global accelerator uses anything global you hear this name no? global accelerator it is all based on edge locations edge locations see what they do is bring world's most capable and secure cloud to you so there are different locations okay they have aws owns it they build it they lay down the cables they don't use the internet cable they have their own cable so it is fast second is edge like uh, how it works is suppose you have uh, spencers and you want to provide edge computing so we also try to uh, route them to a edge location which is near to that spencer location okay see applications like netflix amazon prime cannot run if they are not leveraging edge locations it may be on aws it may be on azure or google anything or it may be their own data centers if they are so rich to create their own okay they are not they are they are using aws at least amazon prime uses its own aws edge locations see aurora is a database okay it, it does not use edge by default connect is just a support connect is like you can use that to build l1 support the level one support and then outpost you can run aws infrastructure and services on premises for a truly hybrid so if you want to implement hybrid this question is not talking about hybrid what is hybrid hybrid means uh, part on premises part cloud that is hybrid see if you have not yet subscribed leverage this opportunity subscribe and this is the handle of this channel there are 550 plus videos and 3000 plus questions okay so go through it a lot of people have passed different certifications using the concepts and contents explained see part part 66 and 67 we have uploaded it today uh, for members you can use the link in the description and become a cloud kernel member to pass the certification i would recommend go through both 
both the free content and paid content okay that will increase your chances of certification or clearing the certification and aws cloud practitioner is a easy one okay uh, so i mean it just gives you if you are coming from on premises world you might find a bit tricky to adopt to certain things once you get a hang of it it is easy but then you know industry does not give a lot of value to this certification you have to move to intermediate certifications like aws solution architect associate or professional certifications and don't limit yourself just on one if you have done aws certifications then go for azure and google cloud also build a multi cloud cv okay, you will be more marketable when times are tough you would be more marketable in the organization or in the market 